A little quiz. What has paws and focuses like a champ? Correct! The Ketkla Junior Follow Focus. Hello, my name is Lucas and welcome to this review and today we talk about this little or maybe a bit bigger follow focus. So this is the Cat Claw uh, Junior follow focus. You can see um, the name in here inside the knob uh, with some little paws on the logo. Actually I like cats so it's not a big problem for me and I find it kind of cute yet um, if you don't like this, you can always remove it. I saw this follow focus on eBay under different names. I think r and is a name I, is, uh, I read or uh, DNG. And uh, under Generation follow focus is one name I have in my mind. I would warn you and would uh, tell you to only buy this item from one seller from eBay. Uh, if you ask why I say this, uh, I will answer this question in the end of the show. This follow focus was about $90. And um, it's a really great quality. It's uh, really sturdy and I think um, it's full metal construction and um, I think it will take a punch or two and uh, Maybe you could also kill someone with it As some of you may already have seen is that this follow focus features hard stops two of them and So you can loosen the thumb screws just rotate it where you want tighten it again and then you have um, fluid motion from one point to another. This is great for lenses that don't have a hard stop on themselves like the modern Canon US M lenses and if you want to mark yourself uh, two focus points to rec focus through them really quickly um, this may not be uh, the best option to focus yet it works uh, this way and actually this is one of the reasons why I bought this follow focus because I really wanted to have hard stops. If you don't like um, the stopper for the hard stops to be here, uh, this has a little Allen screw on here. You can always take an Allen key or I don't have it, so I have an Allen bit here. You can always loosen it, make it where you want, tighten it so you can adjust where this stopper is. Something that got really common uh, today is that you can reverse the gear for um, the follow focus. This is important if you want to use the um, follow focus uh, on the other side of your rig or if you just uh, because of the side of the lens you want to reverse it or it's your life you can change the gears wherever you want and this uh, follow focus uh, makes it possible you simply can lose this screw um, reverse the gear on the other side tighten the screw again and uh, you're set while we're talking about the gearbox um, don't you think that this little gearbox doesn't look a bit like the uh, gearbox from really uh, expensive Lan Parte follow focuses. Very obvious about this follow focus is that it doesn't feature uh, a marking disc around the knob. And um, this is an important thing if you work with uh, another people, if you have an assistant who pulls your focus and um, this doesn't has one, I would like to have one, yet I already thought about the um, DIY solution to this uh, that I will feature in another video. Let's talk a bit about accessories. For only $12.80 you can get this little speed crank here. Um, I bought it because I didn't have one and every speed crank in my country is much more expensive. So I thought I would get it right away with it. What I like about it is that it's really small, um, it fits right into the accessory slot on the follow focus which is I think the normal 12mm array mount and then you can adjust the focus really quick and I like this very much and it's pretty cheap so I would recommend getting it with it. You also get two of these, these are uh, gear rings for the lenses and um, two of these are within the set, you don't pay them extra but yet I don't think they are really good. One problem is that they are very elastic. You can see this here, it's very elastic when I um, drag them out here. And this is actually a problem because um, when you tighten it a lot around the lens and make it really tight, you um, can start to slip because the uh, pitch of uh, the teeth isn't the exact you would need for uh, the gear on your follow focus. Another problem is that these uh, little teeth are very, very soft. So um, if you pull the focus really fast, it can slip too. And this is nothing you would really like. Another big problem is that um, 
it's very plain here so you don't have a profile and this is bad because it can also slip on the lens and this is bad because with all these three issues from this gearing um, a precise focus isn't always guaranteed. I cannot really recommend using these. But that's not a big deal because you can get uh, a gearing like this one for around five bucks on eBay which isn't really much and it's also from some sort of rubber but it has a profile here and it's much sturdier and you cannot uh, it's not elastic or something it's a bit bigger um, yet uh, yeah works like a charm the biggest question when watching reviews and follow focuses is has this follow focus backlash or play in the gearbox or something so um, when i get the gearing to this hard stop so it's fixed on this side and then i pull on the gear wheel you can see or Actually, you cannot see because there isn't any play. I can, of course, twist it with a lot of force, but then I twist the knob too. There isn't any real backlash in this follow focus. And this is uh, really amazing, uh, especially for this price. But also, it's not too surprising as these look a lot like the Lamparto ones. So maybe you saw my other review on the $50 follow focus from Honda Garage and asked yourself if I uh, still use this follow focus or if I hate it now where I have a new and uh, better one or if it's better at all. I don't think it's really better, it's different. If I needed a really small follow focus and a really um, lightweight rig, I would still consider using the $50 follow focus, yet uh, this one is a different leak, of course. But for now, I have a very cool and big uh, rig. <laughs> with the $50 follow focus and the Cat Claw Jr. And the $50 focus in here is a really great zoom lever. So I have a really smooth zoom and a really smooth uh, focus controlling. This is also really cool if you have some clients which think that bigger rigs are much better. Uh, with such a setup, you always look like a big boss. I bought this follow focus from a guy called Orpheus underscore C from eBay. He sells a lot of um, filming equipment like brackets and such for a really good price. So the reason why I recommend to buy it only from him is because I know that every follow focus and everything he gets from the factory gets checked by him, hand checked. So you don't have some faulty units and you don't have the risk of uh, ordering something from China waiting four weeks only to get a, a defective product. So this is the reason I would recommend getting it only from him, also because um, he makes the best price on this product. At least I didn't saw it cheaper on eBay or anywhere else. And I research a lot before I buy and I think it's always good to uh, know that there is someone who uh, actually checks this stuff before he sends it to you. So yeah, I think everything is said and done on this uh, follow focus. Thanks for watching. If you have any further questions, just ask them in the comments. I'm sorry that I didn't show you some examples how nice I can pull focus and how great this follow focus focuses. Um, I actually think this is always uh, down to the operator who pulls the focus and this device is something to help you and it really is deadly smooth. It's really precise to work with it. Yet, um, I can also pull a very nice and smooth focus with my hand if I want to. So, um, I don't want to show you some footage where I pull focus. Uh, if you want to follow focus on the cheap and the good one, get this one. I really like it. I would recommend it any day. And yeah, uh, I think everything is set. So, have a nice day and uh, see you next time.